<laughs> What's up, dude? Dude. So I've been talking to this guy named Chris. Okay. Christoph Lemur. Lemur. I'm sorry if I Lemire. made your name incorrectly. Lemur. Sends a 3D printed motor. If you haven't seen the video, there'll be a link down below of him messing around with it. But he sent it to us to make it essentially fly. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The actual motor's 3D printed? The motor casing, the motor holding, and then the, there's copper wire. Obviously, he wound it himself. This is a big box for a motor. <laughs> the, the, motor the motor's like the size, of, bigger than the size of the camera. <laughs> what? Huge. This is a big camera. Watch it, home? watch this, dude. I, I'm thinking like a huge crack. Thank you, sir. Dude, I'm so excited. Chris, you're the man, Chris off. Does he have a YouTube channel or something? Yeah, dude, he's got a YouTube channel. It'll be in the link below. I think it's just his name, but I'm not sure. So he's got 3D printed uh, spinners. We should take notes from him, because right. ours blew up. <laughs> yeah, dude, and 3D printed prop. What? And that's not 3D printed. Uh -huh. 3D printed prop. No, it's, no, it's not, it's APC, dude. Okay. <laughs> but he said he tried, man. Here it is, here's his 3D printed props. Let me Boom. see that. So they connect, they like, wow. they go in there and they Oh, they go in the spinner. Things. Yeah, dude. Open those up. Open those, dude, open, open, open. This is how big the motor is. Oh. <laughs> I love this guy. Hold on, there's more Josh! Stuff. And uh, Megan's got a lot of bubble wrap, so she'll be excited. Josh, come here. We need to put this on something. Dude, look at that. Wow. Josh! That's it's crazy. 3D, 3D printed this. propeller. I don't know what this is. You know what that is? I know what it is. You want to open it up? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, they connect with these thingamajigs. You can go two blade or three blade. I love the video on this That's too. Awesome. Dude, yeah, the video's awesome. Dude. Look at this guy. The motor's massive, isn't Dude, it? Dude, the motor's huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. I love this. So is this like a sample prep? Oh, oh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Boom. Oh, oh my Boom. Goodness. This is going together. <laughs> From what I understand about this, this is 100% 3D printed. Right? Is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah, it's got some weight. It's got some weight, but not as heavy as a normal right. one. So it's hand So this is the prop that probably goes on it. Yeah, what is this, a 16? No, it's a 14. Well, yeah. That's a big old motor. Dude, 3D printed motor. I don't believe you. Oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> and oh the truth. That's cool. We did call him out on a 3D printed prop. Yeah. <laughs> Stefan's like, that's 3D printed. <laughs> I was like, no, that's <laughs> not, but those are. That one is. This is showing the technology. This is- <laughs> Dude, I think that's backwards. Right. I think that, you did both of them backwards, dude. No, they won't go in the oh other way. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a pusher, that's why. Yeah, it's yeah. a pusher because it works uh, best on a pusher configuration. So this this is what we need to do the 300% uh, arrow with. That actually be a really good application. Yeah, hold that, dude. Well, it should be like the size of a Kraken. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> By the way, the 300% Kraken is coming, it's, but we decided yeah. to put our energy first into the Flutalk plane, which is going to be community built. This is crazy, man. Yeah. We can't print a spinner that stays together. <laughs> be there. And this motor. guy's over here printing print motors, motors and props. So yeah, this unscrews here. What kind of printer does he have? Uh, he, he told me what it was. How come? Look oh, at that. Wow. He wound it all by hand. Yeah. That in there is 3D printed. This whole outside casing is 3D Obviously printed. Obviously just 3D the printed. things like the magnets and stuff. Are, yeah, are correct. Only... What a crazy guy. <laughs> He's a genius. He's crazy. We have the coolest people. In the Dude, we do. Be best community so peeps cool. in the world. Dude, that's amazing. Let us know in the comments down below yeah. what you want to see us do, do with, this. with this 3D printed motor. Yeah, I've, heard, I've seen people do 3D printed plane with a 3D printed motor, 300% Kraken I've heard. Let and also, what was his name? Christoph, Christoph Lemire or Lamer yeah. or Lamir. So Lamir. also Christoph check out Lamir. check out Christoph's channel. So we'll yeah, link it down below. He's got a lot of a lot of cool videos, and actually they got tons and tons of views. Turns out that a lot of people love 3D printed motors. Yes. And props and stuff. It, this is awesome. He's a really cool guy, and he's very entertaining when he talks about his so, specs. So I gotta share something funny. My son actually, he starts laughing his head off. He's like, "You guys are getting a 3D printed motor." I'm like, "Well, yeah. How do you know that?" He was watching his video. <laughs> that's, so, awesome. that's how crazy it was. He's like, "Dad, you're getting a 3D printed motor." Like, <laughs> and Baloo even sent me an yeah. email the day after I watched the video saying, "Hey." This thing popped up on my feed. You guys get a 3D printed motor? I think you are. It's got lots of views too. It's fantastic. Too bad Kristoff's not gonna be able to come to Flight Fest. Hopefully someday we'll Christoph, cross paths with we'll him see you. Day. Link down below, check him out. <laughs>
stop it. I've seen them, yeah. It's crazy. This one's a two-line kite that Josh has with, he bought it on vacation on the beach and has like a big streamer tail and he's, he's having a blast. He's showing Mitchell how to fly it right now. That's pretty great, great. They're very majestic. Yes. Dude, I feel like this one oh. might kill us. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a little touchy. I also feel like the, our back area here at our shop is not ideal for kite flying. Because I know how turbulent it is when we fly airplanes. I'm going to be walking into a hazard zone here. Watch out, bro. <laughs> Dude, Bob's a, Bob's a brave soul. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Good luck. Oh, he's got it! It's up! He's been trying to do this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, stand up on end. I like it. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Run, Jordan. Run. We're in the danger zone. Ah, Mitchell, don't kill me. <laughs> there you go, left hand. There he goes. Mitchell's first time flying a, a, a power foil. Power foil. Or a speed foil. I forget what they call them. So what's All there are here, is they're cool. All right, so. In one week's time, oh, oh! <laughs> In one week's time, apparently, everyone has discovered how much fun flying kites is again. Hold on. Awesome. And uh, we're playing with two strings. This is a, uh, a prism uh, snapshot 2.5. So 2.5 meter wingspan. Each line has 300 pound test line on it. Yeah. And it'll pull your butt across the lawn. And it's so much fun. Well, these are 2.5 meter. We recently got to fly real paramotors. Yeah. And it's the same concept, but the paramotor wing that we were flying was like 30. Heads up, heads up. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Everything you're not supposed to do with a PPG wing, yeah. you, you can do with a kite. Yeah. So, where with PPG wing, you want to take it through the wind window to the top above you. Yeah. This, you let it exist like at 30%. And they are so much fun. That's a 1.9 meter, and it's perfect for, you know, it's not going to pull anyone, but it's still going to make you work out. There you go, Jordan. There, Jordan's got it. Jordan, you're killing it right now. thing away from us. <laughs> It pulls. It, it pulls, but it's not like it's not like overbearing. Like okay. you can. So I'm not gonna fly away. No, you're not gonna fly okay. away. <laughs> if Megan can stay there, you can stay there. It may drag. In like 20 mile an hour wind, this will literally. My son uh, Noah, he's a buck 60. It was dragged Wait. in dead man laying flat across the beach. I think, it, I think it's safe to say that an episode is in order for some kites. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is you go out to the field, it's too windy to fly, no, no, you want fly to fly, kite. fly a kite. Yeah. They literally fit into a bag too, which is so cool. You don't have yeah. a lot of set up. Super you compact. You fly in minutes. So get your one hand, go like Nice, how are you? Oh, like you're supposed to, okay. Yeah, so stick your hand through there and grab onto the strap. Stick your hand through there. We gotta wait till he's not longer across and she lands. Yeah. What will happen when this pulls taunt, yeah. it'll slice the other person's line. Right, like it's makes crazy. sense. So at the beach, it was the coolest thing. What? You got very oh, oh, here. <laughs> we got dueling kites right now. Oh no! <laughs> you got this. So the green is Artem, and the orangish is is uh, Jordan. You guys are killing it though. Great! Don't cut my line. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I, I said, don't cut my line. <laughs> as soon as you said I jinxed it. it. I totally jinxed it. Yeah, dude. You got this, dude? This is, this is where it's at, bro. Kite flying. <laughs> what are you flying right now? The snapshot? Dude, what is this called? The snapshot 1.0. The snapshot 1.0. 1.9. Here we go, dude. Good luck. Da, 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 da. Oh, geez. Left. Oh, no. Oh, geez. <laughs> Sorry, dude. There you go. Get it up. Get up. Now, left and right. Just keep it moving. There you go, dude. Yeah. Do -do -do -do. Oh, geez. 
Come on. Get above go. that thing. Go left. Go left. There's no. Exactly. Hey, it won't. It won't do that. That's why you have to keep your arms here because if you go like out here, you can't pull it anymore. Okay. That way. The issue is I got below the. Uh... You got a nice gust right now. Get, get ready. Hey. There you go. Now bring it back down. Ha-ha! <laughs> left, left, go back to where you were. Now right. That's about your the max wide angle you can go. Oh no! Get out of here! Get, I, I'm saving it! I'm saving it! I'm saving it! Oh my god, I thought I had it! Dang! I thought I had it, Jeff! This is the rest of our day, we're flying kites. We to this is going to be a whole day, dude. Oh, I thought I had it. Dude, I feel like in a week or so, I could be a very proficient kite flyer. Anyways, like I said earlier, I think it's definitely apparent that some kite content uh, is in order. We're flight tests. I mean, we got, we're obligated. We have to cover all aspects of flights. And this is yet another one. Leave us a comment if you guys want to see kite content. If you guys would like to see certain kinds of episodes, certain kinds of kites, maybe some challenges, maybe like FPV kites. I don't know, something cool. Leave us a comment. We'd love to see it. Do we need a waiver from the FAA to fly these kites? I feel like in a week or so, I could be a very proficient kite flyer. Dude, I know. Wait, why is your tail up in my business? This is class no tail airspace.